Hello, Trinity. I hope that all of you are enjoying some version of a summer break. We have grown accustomed over the last few months to a rapidly shifting landscape, and undoubtedly there are surprises yet before us. But the great thing is that we have a God who goes before us and who goes with us and for whom there are no surprises. We plan to begin in-person classroom instruction the week of August the 17th. Monday will be an open house day where students will come meet their teachers and receive classroom schedules. And then in-person class instruction will begin on Tuesday, August the 18th. We recognize that not everyone will be able to immediately participate in on-campus classes. We have students, faculty, staff, and family members with underlying health conditions and they may be substantially affected if they are exposed to COVID-19. So to meet their needs, all of our classes in their entirety will be uh, simultaneously Zoomed throughout the day for those who must or those who desire to initially receive instruction from home. Unlike distance learning in the spring, the full school day, five days a week with complete block classes will be delivered via Zoom. We have ordered webcams, document cameras, microphones, and 55-inch uh, television screens for all of our classrooms. And as they are installed uh, in the coming weeks, we're also replacing and upgrading all our access points, 74 of them in total, some of them covering the outside as well. And we will also be installing new circuits and routers. The lower school will be using a new app called Seesaw and this will facilitate assessments as well as the receiving and turning in of assignments. And we trust that that will be a much smoother experience than it was this spring. To properly safeguard our community during the resumption of on-campus learning, specific health precautions and safety procedures that are in accordance with healthcare guidelines will be implemented. These will include social distancing protocols, personal hygiene practices, cleaning schedules, and also daily health screenings that will include temperature checks for all students and staff. Details on these procedures will be posted on the Trinity website by early next week. Our athletic department will follow the guidelines issued by the Virginia Independent School Athletic Association and the Delaney Athletic Conference. Currently, golf, cross country, and tennis will compete in the fall. Decisions are yet to be made regarding soccer, field hockey, and volleyball. In the event that at some point uh, during uh, the first semester, health authorities decide to close schools or to initiate a stay-at-home order, all of our students will then transition to a full-day remote learning for the period designated by health officials. All families will be invited to a Zoom cottage meeting in the latter part of July to receive updates and also to ask questions of our administrative team. We covet your continuing prayers for the health and safety of our community and especially for our students and staff as we begin a new year together. I miss you and I look forward to seeing you all soon. God bless you.